Hi, it's Nadine here today. Another really quick review of Necker's 7 inch, well, it's a bit more than 7 inch, I think, Kaiju Scunner. Scunner takes most of his body from the uh, Battle Damage Knife Head mold or the Trespasser mold, if you've got that one. Uh, he does have some extra bits that are kind of glued on and a separate unique head which differentiate him. But just the basic body, all this bit and the body shape. It is the same as those other figures. Not all of the new parts are as good as the old parts. So in particular, I'm thinking of the hands. Um, even the, the big and the small hands all don't seem as nice to me. Here you've got the big hands, three fingers, just like the other one, three fingers. But on the previous two molds, I just found this to look like a more natural sculpt and a more useful pose. Whereas this is just... Uh, it doesn't look quite right, especially not having any thumb. So if I bring up that side of the hand, you can definitely see without a thumb, it looks it looks weird. Here you can see the small hand on Battle Damage Knife Head it actually has four fingers, uh, one of which is pretty much the equivalent of a thumb. And that that is much better. I like that. He's got the big three-fingered hand for swatting down fools and this uh, four-fingered one for grabbing stuff. Having a look at the the inner hand on Scunner, you can see that he doesn't have any thumb. He's got nothing opposable. That small hand is basically useless. So what's the point of having a, a prehensile set of hands and a big muscular fighting set of hands if both sets can't grab anything? All three figures have a slightly different shell. Um, it's a bit hard to fit them all in at the same time here, but uh, in the middle we've got Scunner. Uh, on the left is Trespasser, and on the right, Battle Damage Knife Head. And, I mean, they've all got some kind of horn. Like, these these guys all have a different kind of bony protrusion coming down the back and horns at the side, but uh, all slightly different. Um, the cleanest one of them all is the Trespasser. If you look at him back there, you can see his shell is, is very uh, smooth and not many ridges, while... Figures like the Scunner here, they look more gnarled and like things have kind of taken chunks out of them. And uh, the paint job on this is a little bit weak too. Both of the previous figures, like if I bring this knife head back up here, you can see the gloss on the, the spike that comes out of the shell. Scunner doesn't have that. One thing he does have that the other figures don't have is this flexible shoulder piece. So it's just glued on along with the breastplate and the shell. Um, it's flexible to allow it to move with the arm, even though the arm is kind of still pretty limited. It's painted really nice. It does have that neon kind of effect. Uh, I, I do like that. It's a, it's a bit weird. Like the real kaiju, they wouldn't, he wouldn't be wearing clothes. It would be fleshy and joined. But it's a good way to pull off the effect on a figure, like on a, on a remold, kind of adding value to the mold. Looking at the head, on camera the head is probably not coming out as good as what it is in reality. Um, I quite like this head in reality, but it's so shaded in every direction. It's like a, a flower with these petals bending forward and above and below. It, it is quite hard to catch the light. I'll try to shine some light in there. Maybe that's catching it a little bit better. He's kind of got eyes like a hammerhead shark. You can see up there they stick out on um, protuberances to either side. I really like that. Uh, I'd love to know if this is supposed to be flexible. Like, I know in the toy it's not flexible, but I can't remember in the movie, did these side bits close in to shield the face, or were they more like horns that were really hard? The mouth section in there can open and close, like the other guys. And he has got kind of a tongue. You can see the purple tongue sticking out in there. There's one more mould... One more version of this mold yet to come, and that is the Axe Head, who is very similar to uh, Trespasser. Now, I'm drawing the line at three versions of the same mold because I don't think anything they're going to do now is going to be an improvement. I definitely feel that the Scunner toy has not lived up to the previous two, and if I was to recommend just buying one version of this, I would say if you want that the best toy, then Trespasser does that. He's got the best paint and the best overall sculpt. If you want the most representative toy from the movie, then I would go with the Battle Damage Knife Head. Pretty much the only way NECA could convince me to buy another version of this mold 
would be if um, if they released this battle damaged knife head without the battle damage, just a, a plain paint job knife head, I would probably pick that up. But other than that, I won't be getting any more of this mold. Now I know that there uh, there's new kaiju on the way, and I'm really excited to get them. And I'm sure that as soon as I do, I'll be reviewing them right here. So this has been my video review for NECA's 7-inch series of Kaiju from Pacific Rim. I'm Adi, and thank you for watching.